buddies. Homebrew buddies. Drinking brew from buddies that they made. Not particularly for us, but they sent it to us. And we're going to drink it. It's going to be great. It's a homebrew. Uh, So... Hey gang, okay. uh, Dan, Mike. Uh, what do we, we got? A homebrew. We got oh, a homebrew. Oh great, another one. We home. All right, made from the the flag of right. the United States of America. We're, we're, we're uh, more homebrews than actual brews. But yeah, well, that's okay. That's what happens when you get beer mail full of homebrews. From who? Tanner over East Coast. LP hey. Beer reviews. This is his Mexican hot chocolate stout. Oh. And Tanner oh really wanted to be here today to describe it since he didn't describe anything. Uh, recipe. So, for this Mexican hot chocolate stout, malt extracts, we used uh, six pounds of gold malt syrup, one pound of golden light DME, which is dried malt extract. Uh, Stephen Green's was one pound braised chocolate malt, half pound braised caramel ADL, half pound light roasted barley, and uh, the hops we used was one ounce of Columbus hops at uh, 60 minutes at the beginning of the boil. The other ingredients we used was uh, a pound of lactose, also at 60 minutes, beginning of the boil. At the uh, last 10 minutes, we added an ounce of cinnamon, and uh, we made a tincture of 0.25 ounces of de herbal chilies and 4 ounces of cacao nibs um, that we added to 100 proof uh, Smirnoff vodka. Um, so we made that in like a mason jar, let it sit overnight, add it to the fermenter, let it steep for... Um, about a week uh and yeah uh the yeast we used was the safe ale us5 yeast it's a dry yeast um yeah without further ado let's uh check it out we also have a nice uh american flag cap here happy fourth of july everyone oh. very fitting and uh without further ado excuse me let's crack the civil court up Sniff your glass here. A little bit of the bottle there. Very nice looking. It's pretty dark. All up the light. Yeah. It's like uh, kind of motor oil, black. And we got a nice um, kind of brown, maybe more khaki colored head, light brown. Frothy, one finger head on top, holding some good retention. A little bit of effervescence there, nose. Oh, I definitely get the pepper. The cacao nibs come through. There's a really nice uh, caramel malty sweetness. Probably uh, cut the heat on these hot dogs. It's actually really um, like distinct breadiness, kind of like a little bit of like a floral hoppy aroma. You get that cinnamon in the background. It's not too potent on the cinnamon. The chocolate's really nice. I feel like the adjuncts, the additions that I added to the beer aren't overpowering on the nose at least. So this was, uh, ABV was 6%. So I have to go back and uh, pull up the uh, original gravity, final gravity. Um, yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was like 1070 was the final gravity. And then uh, I have to look back at the final gravity. We did do a uh, two weeks in the primary fermenter, uh, two weeks in the secondary fermenter. And then uh, of course we did the uh, addition of the tincture for one week. Um, before we did our bottle conditioning, we did bottle conditioning for two weeks. It's our end result. Let's go for the taste. Cheers. So you get that malty sweetness. The chocolate's more on the finish, for sure. The peppers aren't too spicy. You get a little bit of that heat. It's actually uh, pretty nice. Um, I did just eat a hot dog and had some of a hamburger, so I mean. Yeah, 
yeah, you get that that caramel malt combined with um, the cacao nibs. The cinnamon adds like more of like uh, kind of like a cinnamon kind of slight bakery finish. Mm. Nothing really off on the palate. The uh, it's the water seems pretty clean. Mm. Definitely don't think anything. Um, as far as uh, beer being oxidized or infected happened. Um, so that's always a plus. Uh, yeah, it's just interesting. I kind of wish it had a little bit more of like a roasty note. I feel like you get more of like a caramel malty sweetness. This also was a malt extract brew, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wish it had a little bit more of that chocolatey aspect. I'm getting a little bit more of like a caramel malt syrup kind of sweetness. It's really nice. For 6%, definitely don't notice the ABV. You start to notice the uh, Darbel uh, chili peppers a little bit more as you continue to sip on it. But it's pretty good. Um, I would say as far as complexity, it definitely is the most uh, unique beer that I've made so far. I really like the fact that we're using additions or adjuncts, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, works pretty well. Uh, the Columbus hops... Um, give it a little bit of that like floral aspect to it um i feel like this beer might get better as it ages maybe we'll get a little bit more of that kind of like robust decadence like that chocolate aspect out of the beer uh, overall i'm pretty happy with it definitely not something that i want to drink too many bottles of i probably have a couple um i really want to share this with people i think that that would be the fun part about it it's definitely different than your typical stout that you would buy from the store um like i said it's a little bit more of that malt extract kind of sweetness but overall it's pretty good and uh yeah not gonna give it a score because i brewed it but hopefully we can do an examination or maybe we can do a review with some other people on this and uh yeah there you have it is anything else you guys like to see on my channel make sure you leave a comment down below don't forget to like subscribe to my videos thanks for watching guys cheers